Uber and Lyft drivers say vehicles with Apple CarPlay, plastic screen dividers, and phone chargers for passengers make rides easier and more fun. I don't see how plastic screen dividers would make rides more fun, but okay, if you think you cut off completely, uh, I think that's just a safety guard. But like, what does make your ride easier? What makes your ride more fun for you, for the passenger? Do elaborate and comment below, right? Because what we're trying to do here is sort of like establish a set of rules that, um, you know, that you could, uh, for instance, implement to make rides more fun for you and your passenger, uh, more safe, etc. So people have really cool ideas that they put forward in this channel. And uh, this is a time to share. Five drivers working for Uber and Lyft told Insider about car features that make the job better. What makes your job better? This included, as I've mentioned there before, one driver said heated seats in his Cadillac were also a winning feature for passengers. I can sign up for that right now because what I love what I love, what my clients love in my car, what my family loves in my Cadillac is that all the seats are heated. It's amazing, right? Big, 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 big plus when I drive. So drivers working for ride hailing apps pick up a wide variety of passengers who have all sorts of preferences, right? And we notice that with our riders, there's certain common things that they love, but then you have these individuals where something may stick out, right? And you're like, wow, somebody finally complimented me on that. Right, I thought I was the only one that implemented that. Um, so far, no passenger has commented. This is the first guy in that uh, comments positively. So it, it, it's interesting to see how wide the variety of tastes go for both sides, rides and riders and drivers. Uber drivers need to be attentive, focused and dedicated to ensuring their riders reach their destination safely. It can also be tiring work, Uber updated its guidelines in 2018 so that drivers get a notification to take a six hour break um, after up to 12 hours of driving. Given how much time they spend in their cars, many drivers rely on specific features, gadgets and apps to make the job better. So what specific features, gadgets or apps make your job better? Do share. Insiders spoke to five drivers who work for Uber and Lyft about what accessories they and their passengers like the most about their vehicle, their identities and occupations have been verified by Insider. An Uber spokesman told Insider their drivers aim to give riders the best possible experience on a daily basis. And it's interesting that an Uber spokesman would jump in on this uh, topic when asked, right? Because here's an opp opportunity to make the company look great. But God forbid you ask them questions about assaults, rape, killings, no comment. Uh, furthermore, with our broad range of services from Uber Comfort to Uber Pet, riders have more choices than ever to ride in style in the style they choose. Lyft didn't immediately respond to insiders' request for comment. Find that rather strange. Now, let's see here. So one Uber driver in San Francisco said his passenger loves using the in-car phone charger. That's a must. Every car should have an in-phone charger car charger, right? That's they're not even debatable right there. Um, because riders expect that. And if they don't have that, they get a little bit grumpy or may affect your uh, tips, may affect your rating. So a charger is standard, I would say. Um, Michael Aid said he has a car charger that hooked onto the back of the front seat's headrest so passengers can charge their devices during the ride. Uh, the one he uses costs $30 and has three retractable charging wires that are compatible with Apple and Android devices. I've made a video about that specific device. Um, the driver plugs the charger into the vehicle's USB port. My passengers love it, said Aid, who drives a Toyota Prius. For many reasons, it's important to Uber and Lyft drivers that a passenger has an enjoyable ride. And when guests are happy and comfortable, it can improve their driver's average rating. Very true. And passengers can give up to five stars to drivers and a tip. So don't forget that. Now, pl uh, plastic dividers, um, very small percentage use them. This is more for taxi drivers. You'll see this more, uh, it's way more common in taxis versus um, Ubers or Lyfts. 
plastic dividers that separate the passengers from the driver, set the tone for the ride according to another driver. So he just might really enjoy his safety and his privacy, which, which is good. Uh, but some riders take those plastic screens the wrong way. Mike Hosley, who drives for both Uber and Lyft in Southern California, told Inside he was pleased when a plastic screen was installed in his Cadillac during the pandemic. It separates the front from the car from the back of the car where the passengers sit. I've actually turned around and had a dog's nose there before. I've had people leaning over and breathing on me and people sneeze, he said. Uh, Hosley 62 said the plastic dividers set the tone between the passenger and the driver because he didn't like the riders getting in the front and invading his space, especially after the pandemic. Fair point. Um, next one, Apple CarPlay, which is integrated into the Uber app, makes driving easier for Trevor Martin, a driver in Orange County, California. I'm hearing pretty good reviews about the Apple CarPlay. Uh, some cars, obviously, older cars don't have it, but, um, you know, the, the, the sort of the, the giant experience to see so the rider can see where you're going, the interactive experience, not having to take your eyes off the road all the time, um, I think is a, is a massive safety plus, right? Um, my new Toyota Sienna's that I bought, uh, they all come with them. I use them, they work, and it's, it's a positive experience. Martin, who has driven for Uber for more than a year, has completed more than 1,000 trips, uh, said having a car with access to Apple CarPlay was, was ideal. The feature became available in February to Uber drivers in the United States, according to TechCrunch. Uber drivers who have an iPhone can use the Uber app directly through their vehicle's dashboard via Apple's CarPlay. This means drivers can organize trips, get directions, and communicate with the rider more easily on a bigger screen compared with solely relying on the phone, which is usually mounted to the dashboard. Um, being able to play a large variety of music is appealing. Um, I really do think that you have to give a rider full access to the music. Sometimes you'll hate their music, but it's about them. If you want the tips, you got to tolerate, or at least I tolerate some music that I don't like. Some people draw the line and say, absolutely not. It's my music or the highway, right? Um, so they can sync up uh, they can sync up to your system or, you know, you could ask them. So, for example, this morning I had a client, he's a businessman, uh, usually travels at 5.30 a.m. in the morning and he wants between 5.30 and 6.30, he wants to listen to all the uh, different business news. So, you know, I tune him into Bloomberg News or I tune him into MSNBC. What, did I, what do I pay for? Sirius XM uh, and a couple of other services, right? Um, scores me big points. Um and big uh, tips as well. So being able to play a large variety of music is appealing, not only for drivers, but also for passengers. I agree with that. Um, how do you handle this one? So Richard Knapp, an Uber and Lyft driver who drives in uh, State College, Pennsylvania, said he switches between alternative rock, pop music and old classic during his ride. So he's obviously dictating the music. He likes tuning into Sirius XM. That's what I do. Uh, but I give them the choice. You know, some people want electronics. Some people want hip hop. Some want news. The cool thing is Sirius XM. Cost me about six bucks per month. Has everything. The music choice makes my experience more enjoyable. Knapp told Insider, I get bored with repetition and I like to choose genres uh, according to my mood. So it sounds like it's about his mood, not the rider's mood. I would make it about their mood, right? If you make it about their mood, their temperature, their music over 365 days versus everything about you, watch the difference in tips. So the music choice makes my experience more enjoyable. Passengers also appreciate the music as some ask whether they can connect their phone to the car's Bluetooth or auxiliary cable so they can play their own tunes. I give that option to them right from the get-go so that they feel like they are in control. Eddie, who drives in San Francisco, said he listens to Spotify or audiobooks to help pass the time. So what do you do here? Right. Just just curious, like what what do you have in place, um, you know, that sets the mood, the ambiance? Uh, what, what what adds value to your trip? Um, now, um, let's see. Do we have another one here? 
Uh, one Uber driver in Florida said he couldn't drive without air conditioning. Shit, I hope your car has air conditioning, right? I mean, if you're in Florida or Texas, you don't have air conditioning. I mean, what cars don't have air conditioning? So this, to me, again, this is like the, the phone charger. This is a must, right? This is a must. Now, I've noticed uh, in California on hot days, I will run the air conditioner. I've had people from overseas, Europeans often don't like air conditioners, and they'll ask you to turn them down. But before they even ask that question, it's a, here's a simple thing. Check in with your client, with your rider, or if you have a, a private a client who's paying top dollars or an Uber or Lyft rider, how's the temperature for you? Would you like it up? You like it down? Oh no, it's perfectly fine. Thank you. So you care, showing them you care about them, right? So John Lacey is a Florida-based Uber driver who has completed more than 900 trips for eight years. Over eight years, 900 trips, uh, not a serious person about rideshare if you've done 900 trips in eight years. My AC is always on. He told Inside it was close to 90 today and it just gets hotter from here. Uh, last summer, a heat wave settled over many parts of the United States. The extreme temperatures caused some schools to close. Yeah, so that's when the AC comes in. Um, really, really handy, right? So drivers from delivery companies such as UPS reported heat as high as 150 degrees in the vehicles without air conditioning. They said it was making their jobs more difficult. Understandably so. On the other hand, passengers love the heated seats, right? So this dude here, he has his um, Hosley and Uber and Lyft drive in Southern California. Said his vehicle has heated seats in the back. Passengers can control the settings with a console. That's what I have as well. They love that. The feature that was most popular with women was hands down the heated seats in the back. They loved it. Passengers have told him how much they appreciate the feature, especially when the weather is cold, he added. So do feel free to elaborate What's hot? What's not? What do you love in your car for yourself? What do you offer your riders? What do you think is essential? What do you think can be left out? So go crazy in the comments box, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of newbies checking in on these videos and say, okay, well, how can I improve A, my ratings, for example? This is a perfect video um, to check in with if you want to improve your ratings, right? Because when Uber and Lyft send you that nasty email, hey, warning, warning right your ratings are low this is a type of video sh you should watch what can i do what can i say to better the experience for the rider so my ratings quickly go up i have spoken to countless people countless drivers that don't understand how to get high ratings right and and i have this list do this 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 and this and this and that and watch within three weeks your ratings are sky high again but you have to follow the protocol. So I'm excited to read your comments. Have a great day.